In good health tonight, there's been much debate over the potential medical benefits of marijuana. One condition that many people believe is helpful is for glaucoma, but is that fact or fiction? Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look. Doc? Well, you know, Kimberly and Jason, the glaucoma is the leading cause of irreversible blindness and it affects more than 3 million Americans. Of course, the internet is filled with claims that smoking marijuana can help treat it. The truth? Well, it's a little more complicated. Your vision is the same. So it's a common question. I probably get asked about marijuana once a week. Ophthalmologist Dr. Dana Tannenbaum says cannabis can lower the eye pressure associated with glaucoma, but the effect is temporary. Someone would need to uh, smoke, ingest, or use marijuana pretty much every three to four hours in order to maintain that pressure lowering effect. Glaucoma occurs when there's too much pressure in the eye. Over time, that added pressure can damage the optic nerve and lead to vision loss. I'm going to slide the machine forward. That's exactly what Stephanie Norman is trying to prevent. She's heard the marijuana claim, but... I don't know how true that is, and I don't care to find out. Experts do want to find out more about pot's potential to treat glaucoma. We could potentially utilize the chemicals in marijuana to actually make a safe, well-tolerated drug without side effects. Smoking marijuana also lowers blood pressure, which could actually reduce the blood supply to the optic nerve, doing additional damage. Until more research is done, glaucoma can be treated with special eye drops, lasers, or surgery. Now, in fact, it's essential to have regular eye exams with an eye pressure test to detect early problems with glaucoma. Remember, glaucoma doesn't cause any symptoms initially, and experts say up to 40% of vision can actually be lost before a person even notices and seeks help. Back to you. All right, Doc. 